When, when your job is at stake, you must stand. Our job is at stake. Somebody wants to cut our five-year term irregularly through a fraudulent means without looking at the constitution holistically. I have no problem with Article 261, sub Article 7. But you must tell me and interpret what do we do with Article 1, sub Article 3? What do we do with Article 94, sub Article 2? What do we do with sub Article 94, sub Article 1? What do we do with Article 101, sub uh, Article 1? What do we do with Article 136, 180, 177? All these articles must be read together for the Chief Justice to make a decision. The Speaker, the, 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 the Chief Justice cannot just read one article and advise the President. And I'm happy we are going to court. We are going to look for interpretation. Does the Constitution envisage another form of election under, other than the general election held on the second Tuesday in August of every five years as envisaged under Article 101 of the Constitution? The Speaker, the effect of the dissolution of Parliament as contemplated in Article 261, subsection 7, could be to prematurely cut short the term of Parliament, thereby precipitating a general election. We will delete, we will delete section 2. We will delete. Yes. So, because my advice first to members of this House is that a time will come when we must have a unity of purpose. We must have a unit of purpose. Even if you don't talk to your women rep, even if you don't talk to your colleague, a time will come. The judiciary have a unity of purpose. The executive have a unity of purpose. But the legislature, over a period of time, didn't have a unity of purpose. And this is the time. And the speaker, this is the time. With a lot of respect, I don't want to discuss the conduct of the Chief Justice, because he has in, within the reading of Article 261.7, he has followed. The speaker, the speaker, we cannot create a constitution that gives free seat to one gender. We cannot. There's nothing for free. If you want to stand in Migoe, in Kipipiri, you must be ready to face with Honorable Kimunya, the leader of majority. If you want to, if you want to stand in Garda Township and you're of the opposite gender, prepare to face me. I want to confirm to them I am their member of parliament until the next member of parliament for the 13th parliament is sworn in here. Under this uh, system, when the next member of parliament is sworn in is when you lose your seat. As, as I conclude, Mr. Speaker, we need unity of purpose as a legislature. We should not be bothered by that advisory opinion. We will uh, deal with the way the PSC has done it. Let's continue with our function, but please, when we enter the precinct of parliament, let us behave when the judges and the magistrates enter within the precinct of the judiciary. Don't listen to Marad, and I want to tell the president, please don't listen. Don't listen. We have some business to do for government, and we'll continue.